just watching um, Claudia and Tess on the longest ever dance the for Comic Relief. They're amazing, they've been going for over 20 hours so far. How amazing is that? And Emma Freud, I love Emma Freud. I'd love to be in there, bopping with them. So I've just finished this little embroidery and I'll just I'll show you how I press it. So I just have a towel, clean towel that I don't is just bought purely for this. And I've sprayed, just lightly sprayed, no steam, and just literally hold the iron over. And the stitches sink into the towel so that when you've pressed it your stitches are still you can see still standing proud otherwise you've spent all that time doing those French knots and then they flatten and oh sorry it keeps in my shadow into the onto a flat surface and you'll flatten them so as long as you always press from the back into a towel. Oops, keep doing that again. Hope that helps. So these are the Wildflowers Minis Clubs. Going out, packaging them all now. And these are little bags that they've they go out in. Gosh, that wind. Anyway, if you bored with the one, hope you love them. So this is the Wildflowers Mini Club going out. Sorry about all the rustling. That's a rustle, rustle. We've really enjoyed putting these together this month. It has meant that I haven't been able to show you very much in my vlog because it's all been secret squirrel. Look at that washi tape. I love that. thing for polka dot at the moment, I love it. Keeps, it will crop up in your packaging on the bags. These are the little labels, so Christopher drew the lamb. So for the clubs we have all the labels are reflecting the clubs, our sock clubs and our minis club. We we'll always have separate labels. And look at this little lamb. How gorgeous is that? Literally cannot get a ball past him. He should have been in goal. on an extender lead is because 
essentially he does as he pleases. If he sees someone that looks more interesting than us, he will just literally wander off and join them. Which he did once when we were on a beach in Cornwall. And we all kept thinking, ah, oh, he'll come back, he'll come back. And he didn't. He just literally took off with some other people. Come on, Monty. So this is the Limpston Commando Barracks where they train the Royal Marines. Uh, I won't film when I get any closer because I don't think they're supposed to, but it's not a bad place to be stationed really. They've got amazing views over the estuary. But you see all their assault courses and training equipment and everything. It's me sort of walking past exhausted. <laughs> is that as you're walking along it's so easy to walk past these things so pretty look at these little beauties getting blown around oh they're so pretty I've said this probably a hundred times but lavender and yellow really pale watery lavender and yellow were our wedding colours I can't resist these colours how pretty are they Most of yellow. So interestingly, as the wind is dying down, you can start to hear the bird song again. Pretty. Just stopping for a cup of tea, and these. Well, and this one, chilies, are really, really good. Um, it's like a little flask, it keeps things freezing cold or hot, and it really does work. I really recommend those. Just walking along this lane, we came across this. One mile, I think that says five and a half furlongs to Topsham. What's that say underneath? Fifteen miles. I can't see what's under. Oh, fifteen miles to. What does that say? Honiton. Does that say Honiton? That's awesome.
He is barking in his sleep. His little paws were racing. Archie is only just five. He did plead those grey hairs. He's quite a nervous little chap. Jumpy. I don't know if that's why he's gone for a mature grey. Or maybe he's just coming out as busy with me, I'm not sure. Frog companion. So, just found this on Netflix. Result. I watched this years and years ago. Um, so, Pursuit of Love and Love in a Cold Climate were both written by Nancy Mitford, one of the um, Mitford sisters. I have so many books on them. So this is a real treat. So, inspired by Gaynor, what's her hashtag she's using? Giggly made me do it. I'm making some bread. So I used to make bread every day. Hello, oh, you don't see me that close, hello. Um, just another one of those things that I got out of the habit of doing. So, Russell Russell. I'm going to make some bread. Now, I cannot remember the exact amount, so I'm going to wing it a bit, really. remember how much does this weigh? I remember I used to get three loaves out of one. 1.5 kilos. No, maybe I didn't. I seem to think it was 600 grams I used. Um, that's what I'm going to go for. much now. Anyway, that's what I'm going to go for. I don't want to put that there. Because on that. So I don't use a bread maker. I used to. Um, I just use my points now. Let that do all the kneading. Salt, sugar. So I put in, always have done, don't know why, but I put in a teaspoonful of sugar and a teaspoonful of salt, a little bit of butter. Yeast would be good, Chessie. Yeast. So seven grams of yeast I normally put in. I'm just using what I've always used. Nothing fancy. And I know that you're not supposed to get the yeast in contact with the salt beforehand. At least not beforehand. Now I'm probably going to have to turn it off here now because my K-mix is a bit noisy. I'm going to leave it going for now, but we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just going to add some water. OK, 
Okay, so clearly I've got my mixture wrong, but there is an expression in this house. I have a nickname, Shez. Really right back from when I was at school. Um, people used to call me Shez. And um, something goes wrong. Let's take my rings off. Oh, I cannot get my wedding ring off. That can't happen. Uh, if something goes wrong, they will say, Shez it up. Even you've made a mistake, which is very rude. Actually, that's not too bad. That's better than I thought. So that will now go into there, and I'll squirt off that, which I bought ages ago, just keep refilling it, and then that will just go in there, covered up for about, oh, oh, for about, how long do we think Archie, what do we think, 45 minutes to an hour? somewhere nice and warm and then hopefully when you come back it will have doubled in size and then uh, you knock it back and then you prove it again for another 20 minutes and then you bake it. It sounds a bit of a faff but it's really not. Oh hello loaf of bread. Now we're not quite sure what you're going to taste like and you are a little bit deformed but hopefully going to taste amazing. <laughs> now that's really deformed, for sure. <coughs> right, Monty? <coughs> Hello. That's not bad. First one in ages. <coughs> A little up such each. Moment of truth. It's not actually cooled down yet, but we're all quite desperate to see whether or not this is edible. It's not bad. That is not bad. 